I, uh, I got into business in 1992. Actually, the business that I now own, I used to work for that company. That was my first real accounting position in that company. Right? I was their first the divisional controller there. So that company became available for sale in 1992. And again, a little bit of luck as well there. Uh, so I met a friend of mine who I used to work with in the grocery store. And I said, how the things going? And he said, uh, you know, things are not going really well. The company isn't doing well. And they're going to sell it to the company. And uh, somebody's going to buy it in the US. I said, why don't we get together and buy it? And, uh, you know, it took us six months to really negotiate with them. They never took us seriously. They never thought we could do the business. And uh, they said to me, that I went to the banks and they said, you know, we want to buy this company, so we need a little bit of help. They said that if you want a loan, you have to put, uh, actually, you have to show us that you have got cash. And I said, if I'm sure you have got cash, why do I need a loan from you? <laughs> anyway, so but we, whatever we did, we scrapped everything, you know, the, the, all the, every penny that we have. And, uh, and even uh, when we went with, to them and said, we got the money, we want to buy this company. They said, you know, we want you to cash all your DICs or everything and show us you really have the cash. But anyway, those were little hurdles here and there. But we bought the company. And it was losing money. At that time, the company's sales went from, I think it used to do 15, 16 million dollars, they were down to about 3 million dollars and losing a million and a half. So before we even bought the company, we sat together and we said, okay, we're going to see what things we can do differently so this company becomes profitable. And I tell you, in day one, we made money, from day one, in the company. And our growth has been roughly about 30% every year, with some bumps here and there but it has been about 30%. And the, the same company became, uh, you know, the one of the best managed companies. It, it won the Imperial Chamber of Commerce Award and all that. It's the same company. So what we also did was we didn't take any money out of that company. We left the money in there. So from that, I bought five more businesses. So over a period of time, you know, everything fell into place. So what I want to tell you is this. I think we live in a global economy now. Your experiences now matters, even from other countries. When I came in here, nobody believed if you had told them that you worked for an industry in India, because there was no industry in India. Right? If you had told them you worked for the bank in India, they didn't think the banks were worth anything in India. But now if you tell somebody you got an experience from India, it means something. If you tell somebody you have an experience from China, it means something. Because people know what India and China and those countries are doing these days, right? So it really, really <coughs> has changed a lot. So, not, you know, when we talk about global, global uh, economy, people normally talk about global competition. But I think there are global opportunities that we need to talk about sometimes. Because everybody who brings, comes to this country now with credentials, actually they have something to offer to us. They have something to offer to this economy and we should be really thankful to all of you who have children in Canada from that point of view. Because every business in here wants to do business with other countries. And I'm trying to encourage that from my, in my job right now. I say look at business opportunities outside Ontario, outside Canada, outside North America. The opportunities are in China, they are in India, they are in the United Arab Emirates, they are everywhere. Right? So who is the best place actually to open those doors for us other than the professionals who come from those countries? Because they know this country, they know what we need, and they also know what that country needs. So they can actually become our ambassadors to open those businesses for us. That brings me to another point, which is why <coughs> entrepreneurship or opening business is also a good career move for you. You have seen in your own countries, doesn't matter where you come from, what are some of the unique needs there are? And what you can take from here and supply to that country. But also you can know what is being produced there that Canada needs as well. So there is a really unique uh, opportunity for you to really work together to us to exploit those opportunities. And uh, 
and there's nobody better, better qualified to do that. Nobody better qualified. Because somebody from here who has never been to India or China or Dubai or anywhere, it's very hard for them to do business. When I go to India, I know the culture of India. I know how people operate there. I know how to open doors there. But I might not know that how to work that in England. But somebody who comes from England is actually better uh, suited to do that. So I will really uh, urge you to consider even opening businesses because it is a viable option for you. And our premier says we want to encourage people to become employers rather than employees. So then how do we help you to do this? I think uh, if you go to the website of our ministry, when we say, uh, you know, my title is Minister of Small Business and Entrepreneurship, small business to us is up to 500 employees. And that means about 99% of the industry in Ontario and in Canada. So the 99% of the industry in Canada and in Ontario employs less than 500 people. In fact, if you go down further, 97% of the industry actually has less than 100 people. Right? And if you keep going further, you will find out, you know, maybe 75% of the industry has less than 5 people. Right? So that's where everybody is. So you can actually start those businesses and how can we help you? If you go to our website, it gives you all the information that you need to start a business. And I know it's sometimes hard because uh, you say, you know, we come new to the country, we have to get settled and uh, at the same time the banks are not prepared to give you the money to open businesses. But businesses are never successful by borrowing money here. You know that you need it when you really want to grow. The starting business is actually it's going to be your own effort to do it. And sometimes it's going to be the money that you borrow from your parents, the money you save, and that's why you're going to be successful. And that's why the immigrants are more successful in businesses, because then they take care of the pennies that they make. So from our point of view, we'll give you all the assistance. We have about 50 four enterprise centers in Ontario, almost every in major city, which will give you the assistance to do your business plan, we will give you the assistance to introduce to the bank, to the lawyers, but we will also provide you with the mentors, so who can actually help you, to guide you through all, uh, uh, all the ups and downs of the businesses. But you have to come up with, a, with an idea, you have to come up with a good business plan, and, and you should really go back to your own experiences and say, Based on my experiences, based on the knowledge of the country that I come from, and based on the knowledge that I know, what kind of opportunity there will exist for you to do this kind of businesses. But then we will be right there to help you out in any way, shape, or form that we can. And there are tons of uh, examples that I can give you. I give you an example of the person who actually is the largest landlord in there. But I give you, let me give you another example of Anul Shah. He came us, came out like us here, and he had the same problems. Qualification doesn't get that in my experience, doesn't get that in my you can't get a job. But then he had some knowledge about the metals, so he started the metal business. I had the opportunity to go and visit him in his, uh, in his company. If you go in there, it almost gives you the feeling that you are in the front of stock exchange. You know, he has TVs all over, he's monitoring the, the metal prices from everywhere in the world. And he has people employed here, he has people employed in Dubai, he has people employed in, uh, in India. But all those people came like you. So don't give up. You know, it's, it's not about giving up. I think this country offers enormous opportunities to you, enormous opportunities. Just not only in your professional life, you know, once you get a chance, you're going to be successful. There's no question in my mind. But also there are enormous opportunities for you to actually open businesses and uh, do a good work. So I really want to say thank you to all. And if ever we can do anything for you, we are here to help you out.